amount of money that people are going to spend in an attempt to pull that Pikachu themselves rather than just buy it raw is a scale hitherto I'm cramped on. What's going on, Bruce? Ladies and gentlemen, real quick, I just want to thank all of you that turned out for my last video. The uh, the end of Poke Positivity September uh, opening and giveaway, this celebrations and 25th anniversary opening, and the winner of all the hits from that upload is Crew City Empire. Congratulations, Crew City Empire. Go ahead and hit me up on Instagram to claim all those banger hits, including your 25th anniversary a Mew Secret Rare and Pikachu Reverse Hollow. <laughs> now, guys, it's not my fault that Pokemon cards are so damn popular, okay? It's not my fault that Pokemon cards go up in value and go down in value as often as they do. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because this week's, this week's hottest cards is by far and away the biggest episode yet by far and that's last week's recap plus this week's actual hottest cards we have so many cards to get to that uh i don't really have time to do anything else but get going and speed run the hell out of this so i'm gonna go fast i'm gonna go quick and yeah it's just a lot going on and over the last ever since the sword and shield bubble and pop of april may june of this year over the last four or five months this it's just been so scarlet and violet heavy i'm just saying there's a lot of scarlet and violet cards on this we got a we got a etb a regular plain jane etb promo that is double digits now okay obsidian flames what is going on the set is tiny and has easy pull rates and there's at least five obsidian flames probably six if you count like there's there's a lot of obsidian flames cards on this list all right, anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to last week's hottest cards. Ah! So, Armored Mewtwo, you were on here for three months, all right? But look, after three months, you couldn't hit 100 bucks. So, Armored Mewtwo, you're out of here, buddy. You went 95, 95, 95 three weeks in a row. We can't accept, we can't have that. We can't have that. Armored Mewtwo is gone and has lower volume. Another reason Armored Mewtwo is gone. Greninja EXSIR. You went from 285, 93, all the way down to 272, 67. You're out of here, buddy. I'm sorry, we're done watching you. Bubble Mew, down to 92, 81. See you later. The Full Art Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection, 68, 7006, 7006. I might have to knock that one off. I'll check it out next week. I'll see if it pops up again, but I think we're going to say goodbye to that one as well, okay? It's an all time high. I do not care. Charmander he just hit the all-time high now it's down to 37 I don't care see you later Charmander Squirtle Squirtle's up to 3405 still trending up Squirtle is still gonna be on here next week Umbreon poor man's Moonbreon sword shield promo sideways uh you know my rule is two sideways in a row and you're gone so you know what it could be gone we'll see Blastoise SIR see you later buddy Power Glass Hyper Rare from Shredded Fumble, the set that has so many valuable Hyper Rares. That's sideways twice in a row. See you later, dude. Uh, the Wooden Bowl down. A whole $5 it is down to $62.46. You're out of here. Tropicos EX Double Rare, the most beautiful Double Rare card there is. It's up to $14.77. It will be on here next week. Charmander, the Pokemon Center promo. It's up. But it's no longer the highest, okay? There's the... What I'm trying to say is Snorlax retook its lead by a few cents. But it's still up. Charmander PC promo from Obsidian Flames. The stamped promo is $66.19. And again, that is $6 more than the ETB would have cost you originally. Tail Mask Ogre, Ogre Pond. This is the double rare from Twilight Masquerade. That is down to $12. See you later, dude. Kalefa. Clef, all right, so look, here's some Obsidian Flames cards, and we got a lot of Obsidian Flames cards coming up. Cleffa, the IR, went from 963 down to 845. See you later. Pidgey! Pidgey Boys, where you at, Pidgey Boys? I know you watch some of my videos, Pidgey Boys. Where you guys at? Is that what they do? I don't remember. Pidgey, IR, Obsidian Flames down to 830. You know, you have to give it one more shot. We'll see where it goes. Dragonair IR, 
down to 2016 same thing one more shot we'll see where it goes charizard ex the most embossed beautiful one of the cooler looking charizards to come out in a while even though it's just full art down to 36.53 see you later charizard sir chonky boy it finally did it guys finally charizard finally did it it cracked 130 now who knows where it goes from here i'm just saying are the floodgates open with chonky boy i don't know but it's 131 75 metagross ir 1115 to 1144 you, you made it you, you stay buddy shrouded fable hyper rares down just a little sideways the other one sideways they each get one more shot a dock spun not dash bun dock spun okay from stellar crown 29 29 down just a little you know it's sideways gets one more shot now snorlax the pc promo that charmander took the lead on and i don't count the squirtle because that was a upc so i'm talking about etb promos as far as most expensive etb i'm not talking about the squirtle from the uh, 151 upc which is like 70 something dollars it's different it's not an etb okay it's not from an etb but the snorlax is now back in the lead at 66 22 garchomp v trainer gallery the only trainer gallery to do anything uh, re resembling positivity uh over the last two months it's up just a little bit it's sideways but it's up 2787 now the altarts moonbrion is up again last week it made the list at 947 now it's up to 969.35 okay and then Rayquaza up just a little i could have made a green but it's three bucks three but up three bucks on a 400 hundred dollar card not really that big of a deal so 404 67 dragonite v altar the most beautiful of all of them is also sideways up to 141 24 and the best price banger tyranitar illustration rare from paldea last week was 26 49 and now it is 28 48 all right let's get into this week's hottest cards here it is guys we're gonna start off right off the bat with the double digit regular etb promo that's right charmander charmander is ten dollars and 48 cents right now let's go right to the one year so you see it was a two dollar a four dollar a three dollar a little baby card and then now here's the three month we are at ten dollars and fifty cents i think we can all understand why and um Look at that average daily sold of 37. And this is purely a collector card for the hobbyist. Obviously, no one's really playing that. I mean, maybe playing this in the deck, yeah, maybe. But yeah, this card is all about the trio, the Canto trio. All right, let's move it on, move it on. Obsidian Lames, here we go. Let's begin the row of Obsidian Flames cards. So if you know this card, you know it's basically a 40, 41, 42 dollar card forever well guess what it's a 46 dollar and 52 cent card now okay so here's the six month you see way back when it hit 50 in may but this is the highest on the three month this is the highest on the one month for sure and you see 46 items sold on october 1st okay and on the one month it has an average daily sold of eight and i'm pretty sure october 1st has a lot to do with that look at the one year see it was very high and then uh 40 bucks and now you see a nice little gradual uptrend charizard sir i think uh i think the pelian fates ones the pelian fates one looks better but you know it's obscene flames it's just it has a lot of stuff all of a sudden going for it like in the last month pidgeot so we had little pidgey ir on the uh you know last week so now we got the sir pidgeot this week on the three month that's a three month high on the one month it is essentially almost basically one month high it was just a few days ago it hit 1432 it's at 1356 11 average daily sold this is a playable card and so zoom out to the one year real quick it, it is a one year high that we are essentially at right now it is a six month high it is a three month high it is a one month high except for just a couple days ago okay now obsidian flames card number three nine tails another big old buyout right there see that big blue bar but here we go so on the one month nine tails is at a one month high at twelve dollars and 67 cents three month we see thirteen dollars so not a three month high but if you zoom out to the six month 
it, it looks very good with picking up volume and then a huge volume bar right there. And then that's what you really need to look at is April, since April, this card has shown tons of volume, tons of interest, average daily sold at 13. And it's got, uh, this is just a lot of people's favorite cards just in general, like just straight up in general. And Pidgey, Pidgeot, pardon me, EX, the full art also, this card is almost worse as much as the plain Jane double rare. That's right, the regular double rare is actually like eight dollars and something cents. I think it was on the list two weeks ago or something like that. But if you look at the three month, you can see it was about a five dollar and fifty cent card. Now it's almost an eight dollar card. On the one month, you see it's just gradually picked up from five seventy two, and it's up to eight dollars. Another average daily sold of thirteen. Pidgeot EX Full Art and the Pidgeot EX SAR are both up and the Double Rare is already up and the Double Rare has already been up. Temporal Forces! Here we go. So that was four, it's five or six total if you count last week's of Obsidian Lames cards on this list. Walking Wake EX. This is just, if you like the color blue, you gotta like this card. And if you like, there's a lot of reasons to like this card. It's just very beautiful. So, it is up right now to $54.35. Here's the one month chart for you. See, it was as low as $46. Just a couple, just last week, it was $46. It is now $54. Let's go to the one year. When it came out, it got all the way up to about $57. And it is almost, you know, it's, it's right there, right now. And when you look at the, this chart and you see a lack of volume, but you see all these prices held quite a lot. I think a lot of these Temporal Force SIRs have held their value well because when Temporal Forces came out, this is when all the chatter of increased difficult pull rates started to happen. So, you know, that's something, when you get a beautiful card and then you get a bunch of people talking about how it's actually straight up hard to pull, and then you hear about booster boxes not even having a hit in it, yada, yada, yada you have a chance to sustain or even grow in value. And this isn't a Kanto Pokemon, but it's a beautiful card with difficult pull rates, and it's up to $54. And to be honest, the one-year chart looks really, really good. The six-month chart looks really, really good. Three-month chart looks very good. One-month chart, it all looks very good for Walking Wake. Prime Catcher, so it's up again. Now, I could be wrong, but I thought that this card was going to be reprinted in a future product um but and if that is the case you know expect obvious a crash but as of right now prime catcher is just killing it absolutely i think it was on this list like two weeks ago and then it went down so it fell off but now it has to be back on because yeah it got up to 30 dollars in august just this card must be just so needed by every single tcg player and it just be it, like every other a spec must just be obsolete because this card just continues to get bought up you know in the one month snapshot you got 685 sold this card's been out for a while now it's been out since march it's just this big old uptrend on prime catcher raging bull ex the full art from temporal forces here we go it is at eight 74 it is at a one month high it is at a three month high it is at a not a six month high it had a big old spike so raging bolt had a big old playability breakthrough back in may and everything raging bolt went up even the double rare i think is still is like 650 or something like that but raging bolt is continuing to be needed by the tcg and continuing to go up in value that full art is now very valuable again the hyper rare is what is it like 10 12 bucks something like that point is raging bull across the board is doing a very good all right let's get into some ir sawsbuck so sawsbuck here it's been on the list like a month or two ago it went up but here's the six month chart essentially essentially at a six month high i guess we can zoom out right here so look at that you see lower volume and yet price going up Okay, I think that means people want to keep this card. So, Sawsbuck at $9.29. Go to the one month. 
is a one month high it is a essentially a three month high essentially a six month high and just look at that one year chart so these irs so many of these irs are just gradually creeping upwards 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 speaking of sawsbuck dearling dearling is also at definitely a one month high we had a lot but we had 43 40 there are so many of these cards while i was doing research on this video that just something happened on september 25th where like millions of dollars were spent on tcg player because there's just so many random cards that have huge blue bars that i've noticed on september 25th i have way too much to get to cover this video but yeah i could have made a whole video just showing september 25th buyouts but either way both these cards, Deerling and Sazbuck, the combined uh, artworks, doing very well. Dragapult, so this has always been a very playable card. This is now we're in the Twilight Masquerade. And um, yeah, it's $10.52. Here's the one month high. Here's your three month high. Obviously not a six month high. There's pre-market and a little bit of a dump there, of course. But then once it got down, it became a six or $7 card for a while. And now it's, it's double digits. So yeah, and it's a very cool looking full art. Like, I, I actually really like this just as an artwork for a full art. It looks very cool to me. $10.26, average daily sold 15. Yeah, it's doing very good, just like Twilight Masquerade. A Tatsuguri. So Tatsuguri just shot up big time in his double digits for the first time, I think, since release. Yeah, so at release, essentially, it, it went down rather fast. So yeah, by July, it was already nine bucks. 12 average daily sold 100 here we go again 105 september 23rd through september 25th probably a lot of those on the 25th it's just here let's see here is this 25th look at that 25th 92 items sold i'm not kidding there there's something crazy that happened on the 25th there are so many cards that were sold on tcg player on september 25th 92 Tatsuguri sold. This is weird. I haven't, I do this every week, and I'm just saying to have one specific day, so many different cards that I cover, like so many different cards I look into, and September 25th, 92 items sold. But again, average daily sold 15. Let's go to the six month average daily sold 12. I was gonna say it'll be, it'll be way less. Yeah. But okay, so Tatsuguri again up to $10.27. All right, we got to move on. Dusknor. Okay, Dusknor all of a sudden shot way up from a Shredded Fumble. Dusknor is $28.72. Here's your one month high. Let's look at September 25th. Okay, normal. Very normal. Okay, Dusknor was not part of the September 25th buyout, apparently. Uh, but here's their one month high. Uh, let's zoom out just a little here. So there there you can see Dustnor came out with a little bit of excitement with the trio and then it went down for quite a while and then now just in the last week it shot up from $16 all the way up to $28 and became one of the most valuable cards in the set above Persian and Houndoom. How? How is this more than Houndoom and Persian? I just report the news guys. Okay, but there you go Dustnor doing incredible and guess what duskull also popped up duskull's 19 dollars now duskull's 24 dollars. so just in the week week and a half last two weeks duskull has also popped up so duskull as you can see followed the same track kind of as dusknor went down for a while Let's zoom out just zoom in just a little and now it's up now it's also one of the most valuable cards from shredded fumble shredded fumble ain't so shredded all right let's finally get out of uh scarlet and violet Vaporeon VMAX, the VMAX collection box. This card, one, beautiful. It's one of the best art. You know, there's a lot of good water cards that have came out recently, but this has the Melodic, the Mantine, we got the Jellicence. There's a lot of cameos in here. But yeah, so uh, on the one month, it was as low as 36 bucks. It's up to 40 bucks. There's your one month chart. We got to zoom out to see the full story on this card. Let's zoom way up. So it was 20, 25, 30 bucks, right? And then it popped up with the bubble and it went back down and now it's showing some massive strength. And to be honest, uh, let's see. So again, at 40, 65, I was gonna say 20 items sold, 
on September 17th. The reason I'm bringing that up because this one is up and so is this one, which is up too also. So, okay, so not September, not on the same day. But again, it had a spike of 35 items sold right there, right as it was already climbing. So who knows, maybe this person was already buying lower. But $40.43 for Jolteon VMAX. The counterpart, I already looked at the Flareon. The Flareon is not up really at all. But the Vaporeon and the Jolteon, these are both definitely up on the week. Right there, there's your one month chart. Let's zoom out. So this one's had a little more of a gradual uptrend over the last year, but definitely had a bubble. There you go. All right, we're finally getting to the end. And we got a Crown Zenith card, a Raku, a Raku V. So this just popped up above $21, almost $22 again. So you look at the six month, it's, it's been here before. Of course, Crown Zenith had its own little bubble, but it's one of the few Crown Zenith cards showing a lot of strength over the last few weeks, and it's the only Crown Zenith card to be on this list in the last month, I feel like. So yeah, $21.78, 10 average daily sold, not playable, purely collectible. And yeah, so Raikou. All right, let's get to the best deal banger. Best price banger, best deal banger. And I just bought this card. Oh, I forgot to grab it. I literally just bought this card last week. It's a Mew V. This is a Mew. This is an, a Sword and Shield Altar. This is... You know, fusion strike! And guess what? It's completely reclaimed all its sword and shield bubble <clears throat> value. So leading up to the sword and shield bubble of April and May, this card was 20, let's see here, it was 27, 28, 29, 27, 28, 29, 27, and then here! All the way up to about 60 bucks. And then now it's fizzle, whizzle, 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 whizzle all the way down. And now it's basically literally at its original price before the sword and shield bubble and now i see a lot of it. it's getting bought out a lot now that it's hit this 30 dollars almost as if some people were waiting for it to hit 30 and now they're acting upon it we got 10 6 sold and look i own this card this is definitely a card that you need to look at go to a card shop and see it and then you can see like the purples differentiate the card looks weight the, the muse looks better the texture looks good the online photos of this card don't do this card's justice. Plus it's a Mew, plus it's an alt art, plus it's only 30 bucks. Are you kidding me? That is definitely today's best deal banger. There we go, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. This series is a weekly series every single Friday where I do my best to be the guy who on average whether it doesn't matter what format whether you're talking uh news like articles like in tcg player or just on youtube in general i try to on average give you the most up-to-date most current raw card value spikes every week and subsequent falls since we continue to track these cards every single friday i do this because i love it uh but yeah i'd really appreciate if you would like Hit the notification bell and obviously comment because I comment back to basically everyone. And until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Deuces. Whipping packs by the stacks in the search for the snout. Anytime I pull a chunk, that's what it's about. Shiny pink, homie gray, rarity. Don't matter. I just need that shark, chubby chunk, gold fatter, ripping packs.